was the first touchdown pass, first of many, no doubt. True freshman JT Daniels to his buddy Amon Ross St. Brown. JT finished with 282 yards passing. That's the most ever by a USC freshman quarterback in his debut. Jordan Moore and John Jackson welcoming JT for the first time to the show. Uh, you listened to that, that, that highlight. How did that feel in the moment, uh, connecting with Amon Ra on a bomb to, uh, to get you on the board? Uh, yeah, it's like a moment of relief. You know, when you get your first touchdown in the Coliseum, uh, you get to hear all the fans, and, you know, you, you take the second to really listen and, yeah. uh, you know, really take in the moment and uh, how special it is. Yo, know, did you know it was coming? Because you had the perfect coverage. With you Dominic apparently Dominic. did. You jumped all over Pete's I, call. I, I, you I, said, he's got him. <laughs> he's got him. Hey, I didn't jump on his call. I just got <laughs> a little excited. But the, the, but you, you, you had him in, in the perfect one-on-one -on -one situation. And, of course, Amara ran a great route. And the ball was right on the money as well. Did you know it sort of coming as you came up? Yeah. The so, you know, I was going into the fourth quarter. So uh, we all came to the sideline. Um, Coach Helton told us in the huddle, he said, no, we got a touchdown call, O-line, if you block it up, we're getting in the end zone right here. <laughs> okay. And uh, it was, so when, as soon as he was talking about that, I knew he was talking about the, uh, you know, the tight post. Right. Uh, we'd set it up three plays in a row going on the ball with, uh, you know, the uh, inside zone, inside power play coming up, uh, trying to get their safeties to suck up. It was set up perfectly and just executed. Your know, first completion went to Amon Ra as well. I mean, obviously, your your connection with him is well documented. Now, take me back to the beginning of this relationship. Did you guys just meet each other as freshmen at Notre Day? How, how long have you known each other? What's the relationship like? Um, in seventh grade, there was a uh, th there's a youth football league that's a December league called uh, FBU. It's a football university. It's an organization that puts on a national championship tournament. Okay. And uh, I would you know played for Team OC. I had a bunch of my boys go out, and uh, that's where we met Amon at a tryout. And, you know, I, I knew most of the players in Orange County uh, just, have, you know, haven't played against them for a long time. And, uh, you know, that's, that's when I first saw Amon. I was like, oh, my goodness, who is this guy? <laughs> uh, he, was, he was a running back, linebacker. But when he was running routes and we put him on a few seams, uh, his ability to just naturally adjust to the ball and catch it was uh, something, I, you know, I'd never seen before. Okay, so now that it's over, was the game sort of what you expected? It was it, you know, were you more nervous, less nervous? You know, now now that you can reflect back, how how did the whole day go? I definitely would have thought I would have been a little more nervous. Um, you know, going into it, I I just couldn't help but feel uh, comfortable in that we had the right game plan. Uh, I got three of the best running backs you could possibly ask for. Yeah. I got a seasoned O line that you know they're you know they're gonna do their job and. You know, I got a receiving core that, that, that knows where to be, when to be, and at the right time, and, you know, you know make the plays you need. Right. Yeah, talk about that receiving core. I mean, it seemed like you were working things out a little bit on the fly at times with with, with some of those guys. Do you, do you spend extra time this week with Tyler, with, with, with Pittman, and, and make sure you're on the same page with those guys? Yeah, you have to. Um, obviously, I've been throwing with Amon Ross since the seventh grade. Right. So you, you'll, you'll see a little more of a connection right off the bat. Just, you know, having – I've been playing with those guys for – I've been playing with Amon for, you know, most a majority of my life. Right. And I've played with Pittman and Tyler Vons for one game right. and about four <laughs> weeks of practice. Right. So. And it's hard, too. I would imagine – I mean, it was just – we talked about this on air. You had to have the quarterback competition. And so those guys had to sort yeah. of split reps between three guys. It was what it was. But now at least that you're the number one. Does that help a little bit that, hey, it's like – every rep's going to come with you and, and you can, you know, sort of gain ground that way. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, to a certain extent, um, practice is a lot different than the game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there, there's a difference between practice reps and game reps. Obviously, practice reps, uh, practice reps help a lot. But uh, there, there's nothing like having that game experience with those guys, you know, to uh, – to, re to really add to the uh, connection. Yeah, but they, at the end of the day, you completed passes to eight guys, yeah. right? Eight guys caught balls. You know, at the end of the day, I mean, obviously, as a quarterback, you want to make sure all of your guys are getting some love, right? I mean, it, it can't be something you're thinking about during yeah, the game. Exactly. But, um, but at the end of the day, when you look at the stat sheet and realize that eight guys got the ball, it's pretty good in your first start. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely happy. Um, a lot of that goes to Coach T and Coach Prentice, you know, uh, keeping the substitutions fresh. Uh, it, it's something you can do when you have Trayvon Sidney and Bayless Jones, uh, Amon Ron, Michael Pittman. Tyler Vaughns, Randall Grimes, you know, Devin Williams, all these guys with the great tight end core. Yeah. You had so many guys that, you know, nobody needs to ever be running a, running a route tired. You mm -hmm. know, everybody can stay fresh, yeah. stay healthy. Uh, you, you know, Coach Heldon talked about it. We walked out of the game with, uh, you know, I think, 21 freshmen playing, 
um, and nobody getting injured because of, uh, you know, fatigue. Yeah. What did the uh, team think of the stiff arm after we watched a little <laughs> film this week? I, I didn't hear much about it. Oh, oh man. I, I, I gave you love on that one. I've been, <laughs> I, 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 I've been telling guys about it. It was on the wrong sideline. If you had done it yeah, on your sideline, I think you would have been mobbed. But yeah. in the yeah. film room, you saw it. Yeah, play, you, had, you had to see it clean as day. You didn't even like. Oh, I was look? excited. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. I, I was, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at that, everybody. Did you see it? Run that back, Coach. I like it. Hey, yeah. we, t we talked to Coach. Everything for you is going to be a first. And then this week is your first road game. Do you anticipate that at all? Do you just sort of take it as it comes? Um, I would say you take it as it comes. The, there's so, you know, I don't know anything about it. Right. So the more I think about it, the more I create scenarios that aren't necessarily true. And I have no idea, if, you know, if it's actually going to be like that. Yeah. So I, I'm focused on preparing for Stanford, uh, you know, making sure. I give them, you know, all the respect that they deserve being a great football team with great coaching, great discipline, uh, making sure, you know, I understand their alignments and their checks and, uh, you know, you know, being in the best position I can to play football against Stanford. How has it been in terms of, you know, the playbook? And I know that you were around in spring, so you had a chance to get a jump start on it. But now we're in game and things sort of change. I mean, you know, coaches sort of tweak, you know, things. Absolutely. H has it been – I mean – Honestly, has it been difficult, or has it been one of those things that you sort of? It's definitely difficult. Okay. You you can you can sit on the sideline or watch the film, and uh, you know, like when I'm at practice in spring and I'm watching the film and looking on the sideline, I'm like, okay, I know this play, I know what's going to happen, I know who to read. But it's a whole different world when you're in there. You know, you, you don't see it from the sideline view; you see it from inside a helmet. You got Porter Gustin <laughs> and Cam Smith <laughs> and all Jordan Isef and all these yeah. guys lined up yeah. against you. It's uh, you, you know, it's a lot different getting into, it and it takes a little time to get used to. You're an av avid reader. You like psychology a lot. You reading anything good these days? JJ needs a book recommendation. <laughs> uh, I'm not reading anything. <laughs> reading your playbook? playbook. I'm reading the playbook <laughs> and trying to you get used to college. All right. Well, it's all psychology, and you're all benefiting from it in the end. Your big game is on Saturday, Stanford, USC, 5:30. And watch JT on Fox and listen to him right here on ESPN LA 710. Thank you, JT. Trojan fans, the Eckrich Million Dollar Challenge is back. If you want to take the field and throw for $1 million when the Trojans host Notre Dame on November 24th, visit EckrichFootball.com for your chance to win. Eckrich, the official smoked sausage and deli meat of the USC Trojans. Thank you, JT Daniels. We're going to pivot here when we come back. Another star. This one, a sophomore sensation. It's Savannah DeMello next on Trojans Live.